Hey guys, it is time for the buzzword for today. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever failed at anything? What would you say is your greatest failure up to this point in your life? One of my greatest failures is when I first moved to Arlington with my new wife and we were living with my in-laws for a few months and we needed a handicapped van. So I was looking around trying to find the perfect van at different car lots and I set my eyes on this white Mercury Villager and I really, I, I it was white, I wanted a white minivan, I was like this is the van and somehow my, my father-in-law had refinanced his house and had her extra money to help us purchase this van. So we went down there and my father-in-law said, are you sure this is what you want? I was like, yeah, th this, this is it. This is the van, it's going to work. So we purchased the van and then we tried to get a ramp, a handicap ramp, one of the manual folding ramps. You can just try fold, you pull it out and fold out the ramp the old manual way. And when we got that ramp and we put it up to the van and I went up the slope of that van and guess what? Epic failure. I could not get from the top of the ramp down into the minivan because I did not understand that in order for a handicapped van to work with a minivan, the floor had to be lowered so that you could get a ramp into the van. So that was one of my most epic failures in life. Now, some of y'all might think, well, that's just a little failure. That's not what I've done. And maybe that's true. Maybe you have failed in many ways that are unimaginable. Maybe you've failed in your moral life. Maybe you've failed at your job. You failed to your children. Maybe you failed in your marriage. You failed in your ministry and you just feel like, you know what? I'm through with that. But when that happened to me with the minivan and it didn't work, I didn't give up. I kept praying. I kept seeking. And finally, the Lord worked it out to where we had the van that he wanted us to have, not the van that I wanted to have. The scriptures tell us over here in Proverbs chapter 14. Verse 16 says, For the righteous falls seven times. So that shows us that even those trying to do right, trying to live a good life, they fall. For the righteous falls seven times times. Many times we fall trying to live for Jesus. We fall trying to live for Jesus at work. We fall in our marriage. We fall. We fall on our friendships. But look at this, guys. Look at this. And rises again. So the righteous man falls often, but the key is he rises up again. So no matter what you feel that you failed at today, no matter what failures you've had in your past that are weighing down on your mind and that are causing you regret, stand up straight, dust yourself off, and get back working again. Don't stop. But here's something you need to do. Learn from your experience of failure. Learn why did you fail? How can I keep from failing in the future? Is there someone I need to ask forgiveness from? Do I need to forgive someone, including myself, for failing? So get up, take care of it, and walk in the Lord and try not to fall again. But we, when you do, just know by God's grace, you can rise up again. The next part of that verse says, 
to contrast, but but the wicked stumble in times of calamity. Very drastic difference. The wicked, when they fall, they just love that they they're, they're, they're done. But the key characteristic of the righteous man is he falls, but he gets back up. So let me say to you tonight, get back up. Get up and do it. And that is your buzzword for today. Take care. Get up.